The in-ring return of this top AEW star has been confirmed and the date for this major WWE rematch has been revealed. In recent weeks, former AEW TNT champion Darby Allin has laid out his plan to climb Mount Everest in the year 2024, a dangerous feat to say the least. So far, over 6,000 people have pulled off the challenge, although it is something that requires a whole bunch of training and experience to complete. Speaking with Fightful this week, Allen would give some more details on his plans, revealing that his journey will be documented by the Discovery Network, noting that he isn't just going to disappear for months on end by himself. And he would say, Oh no, I told Tony Khan, I said, hey, I've got this idea. If there's a way to get more eyes on the company, like I had been doing with the Travis Pastrana and Tony Hawk stuff, there's more eyes to get on the company through extreme stunts. So I'll be the guinea pig for that. What about me climbing Mount Everest? No wrestler's ever done that before. For. What if I just plant a big AEW flag on top of Mount Everest? I'm thinking of what we could get in return, you know? Interviews with Good Morning America or whatever it may be. I have a team that reached out to me from Discovery. We would document the whole thing. So it's a way I want to give back to the company. So it's not like homie going into the mountains and disappearing. There is a method to the madness and I want to give back. Tony was down at first. Then he started thinking, wait, it's Mount Everest. You might die. I said, Tony, I think I got this. I really believe I got Got this, it's a big thing to me to do. This news will come with somewhat of a relief for fans of Darby who may have been concerned for his literal life given the risk climbing Everest presents, although he will seemingly be joined by not only a camera crew documenting his climb, but also trained experts to help him along. And before we continue, do you want to win a free copy of the upcoming AEW Fight Forever video game? Well, from now until June 22nd, one week before the official release date, I'll be running a giveaway with the winner receiving a free copy of Fight Forever for their chosen console. All you have to do is drop a like on this video, subscribe to Wrestle Planet with notifications turned on, and leave a comment with the word forever alongside your chosen console and a winner will be picked at random on June 22nd. Make sure you do include the word forever as this will help you find all of the comments for the draw. So subscribe with notifications turned on, drop a like on this video, comment your chosen console with the word forever for a chance at winning AEW Fight Forever. Next up, WWE have announced the signing of a brand new deal with a popular streaming service. Taking to their corporate website today, WWE would announce a partnership with live streaming platform Twitch, with their channel set to air exclusive content, with there also being the reintroduction of channels owned by certain superstars. And the press release notes, WWE today announced a multi-year partnership with Twitch that will see the return of the official WWE channel and popular WWE superstar channels featuring live and exclusive content. In addition to the launch of the channel, WWE will debut today a companion sidecast to Monday Night Raw, bringing the WWE universe behind the scenes and closer to the in-ring action. The weekly viewing experience will be led by a rotating cast of hosts and will regularly feature appearances by WWE superstars unique and exclusive content such as backstage interviews and more. Viewers can stream the sidecast live every Monday beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern via twitch.tv slash WWE or the Twitch app. According to a previous report from Fightful Select, a talent meeting was held in April 2022 to inform wrestlers that they'd have the opportunity to use third-party platforms once again. This after several outside projects such as Twitch and YouTube channels was shut down in 2020 following the introduction of a new edict. Whilst the Twitch deal has taken longer to complete than expected, we will now see several channels popping up once again with WWE taking a cut of Twitch's side of the money, which has been described as a very favourable deal for talent who will actually earn a bigger cut than most streamers on the platform. And next we have an update on the status of an absent AEW star who has posted a cryptic message online. Santana, a former member of the Inner Circle faction and one half of Proud and Powerful alongside Ortiz, hasn't been seen on All Elite Television for quite some time, with his last involvement taking place as part of the Blood and Guts match in June 2022, where he suffered from a knee injury after an awkward landing. After almost an entire year on the shelf, Santana has taken to Twitter this week to share what appears to be an up 
upcoming date with him simply writing 6-9. June 9th is of course this coming Friday, which lines up with this week's episode of AEW Rampage, a show that's scheduled to be taped this Wednesday night following the live edition of AEW Dynamite. Whilst the date could be a hint at a possible return to AEW, it could well be a hint at something else, whether it be the end of his contract with the company or perhaps something else entirely. Either way, we'll know by the end of the week. But what do you think the future holds for Santana? Let me know in the comments down below. And next we have an update on this injured WWE superstar. Liv Morgan has been out of action since the May 12 episode of WWE Smackdown, a match that saw her successfully defend the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships alongside Raquel Rodriguez against Damage Control's Bayley and Dakota Kai. Morgan would address her injury this week during a stream on the Up Up Down Down YouTube channel, confirming that she is dealing with a shoulder issue. During the stream, Liv would confirm that she has in fact suffered from a torn shoulder. This after being asked if she can play games whilst not being medically cleared. Whilst it's unclear exactly which muscle was torn, it could be several months until she returns to the ring. With that said, it is yet to be confirmed exactly how long she'll be out of action for, with her since being forced to vacate the WWE Women's Tag Titles, which have since been won by Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey. And speaking of returning AEW stars, another name that hasn't been seen in a number of months is Andrade El Idolo, who has been on the road to recovery following a torn pectoral muscle, with his last match going down at AEW All Out 2022. In recent weeks, he has been featured as part of the promotional material for the upcoming debut of AEW Collision on Saturday nights. Well, last night, Andrade was announced for an upcoming show in Mexico ahead of the first episode of Collision, with him set for a match at the Olympico Lagoon a show on June 15th, where he will battle Psycho Clown and Cybernetico in freeway action. The match has likely been booked as a way for Andrade to clear any potential ring rust ahead of Collision, which goes down just two days after the Mexico show. Ever since this year's Raw after WrestleMania, Cody Rhodes has found himself in a bitter rivalry with former WWE champion Brock Lesnar, who would take him out ahead of their tag match that night. In recent weeks, we've seen both men compete in two matches against each other, firstly at the Backlash event in Puerto Rico, where Cody would manage to escape with a win at all costs, before Lesnar later secured a referee decision victory at Night of Champions in Saudi Arabia after he made Rhodes pass out with a Kimura. With both superstars now having one win to their name, many fans have anticipated a third and final match to crown the winner of the feud, something we now have an update on via Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Radio. According to Dave, Cody Rhodes vs Brock Lesnar 3 will happen at this year's SummerSlam event on August 5th at Ford Field in Detroit, Michigan. This appears to line up with a recent report from WRKD Wrestling that Cody will be part of the Men's Money in the Bank ladder match next month, with him having an open schedule that night instead of a rematch with Lesnar. Perhaps this could mean that Brock returns to cost Rhodes the briefcase in London, England as to set up the SummerSlam bout, although that's just speculation on my part. But who do you think leaves SummerSlam as the winner of the trilogy between the Beast and the American Nightmare? Let me know in the comments down below. And before you go, make sure you check out how AEW can change wrestling forever.